hello everybody thank you for taking the time out to watch my video so everybody been asking me to show them how to make these tacos so today is gonna be the great day oh well, first up first you're gonna start with your peppers you're gonna de-seed them i don't know if that's a word but <laughs> you're gonna take the seeds out um I guess so they won't be spicy. I don't know, that's just how I learned how to make them. But either way, when they sit to me, they get spicy anyway, but still, just eat them. So right here, y'all will see that I grabbed a knife and I started chopping up the meat. You can do this before you start doing your peppers and everything. Um, Usually, I do it whenever like it really clicks to my mind, but all you're doing is really chopping up the meat and putting it into like the little, I guess, like pot that you're cooking it in or whatever. But yes, just cut your, your meat into chunks so it'll be easier to cook. Also, um, I didn't have the energy today. Y'all know, like, well, y'all don't know, but I'm pregnant again. And I just don't be having, like, the energy to move my tripod around. But after I touched everything, I washed my hands after everything. Please wash your hands, especially after you touch them peppers. So right here is where you're going to put a little bit of canola oil and you are going to throw your peppers in there and fry your peppers so they turn like a little bit darker. Um, you'll see as the video go what I mean about a little bit darker. And then that's when you will take them out. But you're going to need this grease to fry up your burrito taco. So do not throw this grease out. So as I'm putting these peppers into the clear bowl, when you put all the peppers in here, you do need to fill your bowl up with some water to hydrate the peppers again, because listen guys, they're gonna be harder than a bottle. Them peppers, you don't want to throw no hard peppers like that up in your blender. So make sure you cover them with some water for like five minutes and let them hydrate again. So this is the step now where I have the peppers sit for five minutes for them hydrating. Now you're gonna throw them inside your blender. where it gets messy but this is my favorite part of all because now you get to see all the red glory so i grab this whisk because at the at the bottom of the little strainer it's gonna be like where the peppers you can't eat the skin so do not you do not have that skin go inside your meat so i just use my whisk so it go in easier you don't have to you can sit there and you can wait for it but me see my patient short i can't sit there and do it but i just grab my whisk you know whisk it all in there and then i don't know if y'all can see the bag on the side but i just put the stuff that i can't use inside that bag so this is where i'll be adding the seasons i will put the seasonings in the description box but you can add more seasoning if you like. It depends on how many people you feed and how big your chug roast is. 
but I add this much so far and then after it's done cooking, I do taste it with the spoon and just see if you like it sauce. If not, just only add the um, beef. I don't know what it's called, but the beef bouillon, the, the little thing with the brown lid on it right there. that red juice that we had in the bowl you're going to add that plus add a little bit more water you're going to shake it around so you can get all the excess off and you're going to pour that over like your little salt because that's what's going to loosen it up now you're just going to throw your pan inside your pressure cooker you're going to plug up your pressure cooker and you're going to put it on one hour and one hour i promise your meat is going to be so tender I do recommend if y'all do this in a crock pot y'all put it on for eight hours you can do the same exact thing that i showed y'all with this pressure cooker in the crock pot look how good that look oh my gosh so make sure as y'all taking y'all meat out y'all remove the bay leaves y'all remove the onions y'all remove the garlic you know the stuff that don't supposed to be in there gonna straight up your meat make sure if y'all got kids like me and y'all be working on time make sure y'all go ahead and get y'all station ready put y'all cilantro to the side put y'all cheese to the side put y'all tacos like take them out the wrapper and stuff so it saves time because if not you don't want to bring a taco trying to be like oh i gotta take this out i gotta take this out i gotta take this out Y'all put y'all pressure cooker by the stove. Y'all don't have to do this. I did this because I got a pressure cooker all the way on the other side of the room. But I just got it a bowl because you got to dip your tacos inside of there. So right here, I just put a little bit of that oil that we fried the peppers in. I put it on the side in like a little container. And then I left the remaining of the oil in there. And that's what I'm frying the, the tacos in right now. So that's why I told you save that grease because you're gonna need that grease because this grease is gonna run out. It's gonna that soak that taco is gonna um soak it up. So you're gonna have to pour more as you cook tacos. So you're gonna do cheese, cilantro, the meat, and then some more cheese at the top. So cheese, cilantro, um, meat, and cheese at the top. <laughs>
So this is what we all been working so hard to achieve. Them beautiful red tacos. Oh my God, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy it. And I hope y'all love it again. Thank y'all so much for watching my channel. And I hope y'all continue to watch.